what is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Famous quote from the sci-fi movie, The Matrix. Fast forward to today, with advancements in artificial intelligence, specifically deep fakes, algorithms are now able to generate hyper-realistic data, specifically videos, images, other data formats that risk being able to fool even humans. What are the implications of these technologies in society? What are the implications of these technologies in STEM education and education as a whole? As society moves towards more digital means of interaction, knowledge exchange and transfer that have been a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Carnegie Mellon, in collaboration with the RAND Corporation and the Challenger Center, seek to spend the next year on a National Science Foundation funded project investigating the impact of deep fakes in the ability to fool student learners of different populations. For Carnegie Mellon, that student population is higher ed. For the Challenger Center, that student population is K through 12. And for the RAND Corporation, that student population is adult learners. Now you can imagine the implications of this, especially as students access more publicly available information online. How can we mitigate the risks of AI generated content? In this year long project funded by the National Science Foundation, this team seeks to investigate what are the impacts of these technologies? How often are students fooled by these deep fakes? And what can we do as educators and as researchers to mitigate the impacts of deep fakes and other AI technology? But it's not just human to machine threats that we should be concerned about. Ironically, these same technologies and algorithms can be used in machine to machine communication where you have machines that have the capability to compromise other machines by generating fake data. So these and other questions are what this team seeks to explore in this year-long funded project. We'd like to thank the National Science Foundation for the support.